Okay, so I'm gonna show you another really cool pickup. I gotta block my credit card in like my name. Uh, you guys already know what my name is. Well, I'll just show you the store that I picked it up at, okay? So I picked it up at Nan's comic book. So Sophie and I went there and she picked up a board game. I know you cannot read this, but I picked it up at Nan's comic games and comics. So give them a call if you are in Houston. It is a very, it's kind of, um, it reminds me of uh, the game store I had at William & Mary, but uh, just better. So I'm going to talk about this. So I picked it up at the price. They didn't charge me any extra. And let me see if I can block out the price for you. So the price was $5.40. $5.40. Okay, let me see. Okay, here we go. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Just assume the price was $5.40. Yeah, so I'm trying to block it out. Oh, actually, now I can block it out this way. Okay, never mind. I can do this. So I was the fourth customer of the day. <laughs> so uh, I'm assuming they don't get that many customers, would be my assumption. Oh, if I was the fourth customer, then Sophie was probably the third customer. So, and it was like, at, it was like late in the day. What time was it? Oh, 11.45. So this happened September 12th. Uh, 2017, 11.49, so maybe they're not open that long. But okay, maybe they open at like 10 or something. And that's why we are the third and fourth customer. This card is in, it is gonna be very, very pricey. What If you had to guess what this card was, what would you guess? $2, $3, $10? No, it's $20. This card is $20 and it's only gonna go up in price. Um, this is my favorite, favorite Duraz. It is something that like you, you need to be, you need to really love magic to own this card. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make that blanket statement and say that because I would love to get a playset. The way I need to get a playset, so this comic is sealed. Oh, I guess they taped it. So uh, I heard that they're not making comics anymore, which makes sense because the Funko figure line failed, the Legacy figure line f failed, Anything that is not Magic Cards has failed. They tried everything, right? They tried, um, what was that? The board game failed. The comic book series failed. The art books look like they're gonna fail because on the Amazon, they're always like half off or something. Like that's not a good sign for a book to be pre-ordered half off. I mean, on the anime art books I buy, they actually go up in price. Like every general, I'll, I'll show you my collection. One of my favorite things in life is my anime book collection, and I recently picked up um, a bunch of other anime, which I'll show you as kind of a Batman throwback. But uh, this card that we see right here is worth a ton of money. It is worth more than the comic book by four times. And I don't see it ever going down in price. You have two Planeswalkers, you have Ashiok, and then you have Doc. And it is a playable card. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's playable in standard right now. I'm pretty sure Doraz is in standard. Can someone fact check that for me? I think it's in Ixlan. I don't know. I, I remember seeing it going, it's going to be reprinted somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be reprinted Iconic Masters because they already have Thought Seas. That would be a little too much. But anyway, this is one of the best cards since I played it in Urza Saga, 7th edition, I believe it was in. And I've always felt, hmm, this is a really, really good card. And even back then, like, it's so obvious what a card, like, if a card is going to see a lot of play. So target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. There cannot be that many copies of this card out there. And you might think, oh, what if they reprint it with the same... So they got a reprint of the same artwork. They can reprint it to till the cows come home with different artwork, and it won't affect this price, right? It's not like this card is uncommon. This card is a common. I don't think they can do it because if you look at the art book, it's matching artwork. It would be so ridiculous, in my opinion, if you know this book is made, this is the card for the book. And I have a near mint. So I, this book is sealed actually. So if you look at it, it's actually entirely sealed and it's wrapped. But if you can find this for $4.99, and many comic book stores have it for $4.99, including the one I just went to, um, I think it was like, 
what day did we go? We had a meeting at Tuesday, and then after Tuesday, it was a really stressful meeting, so we went to a comic book store to buy stuff. And Sophie got the uh, Pompeii, the board game. And I got uh, the book, and I was like, wow. And he was like, yeah, I have a bunch of these, and I would put out one copy of book, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. So they mainly sold, they're not a comic book store, actually. They, they sell board games. Uh, but good, good store, I mean, um, really friendly. And bam, two out of four. Now I just gotta collect two more of these. I'm, I'm pro if I, so if I, this is the only one I find, I'm gonna keep the book sealed. But if I somehow am able to find two more, I'm gonna open up all, all of them. Anyway, that is it. Bye guys.